Hi, Granny here. We have just finished eating supper, and so I thought this would be a good time to explain how we clean our dishes up in the most efficient way, since we don't have plumbing here. This handy thing above me is called all-purpose roll, or APR. So we get some APR, and like here, I had pancakes. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So um, my spatula and my spoon, and uh, so I squirt rubbing alcohol on it and wipe it down good. Now Papa cleans his by adding a little water and rubbing alcohol. Mine, I do straight alcohol. So get the dish all cleaned off. A little bit of extra squirting there. And clean dishes. Okay, so the plate was below, and I had peanut butter on my pancakes, so it got peanut butter on the plate here. And it just wipes up. Handy dandy. Take a second shot at it. And the nice thing about this is in, you know, most of the national parks, you can't just create gray water and then dump it on the ground or in the fireplace. You're supposed to tote it over to some location in the campground. And um, this right here was where my pancake batter was mixed. So this is the messiest thing I've got. Anyway, it's really time-consuming and troublesome. It's so much easier to do things in a way that makes it where it just goes in the garbage. And that's the point of um, using rubbing alcohol. It doesn't create... The liquid does goes a long way. So I'm gradually wiping out the pancake batter out of the inside of my jar here, my can. Love these APRs. <clears throat> and of course, it'll take a little extra doing with this because it had more in it. So things like pancake batter and macaroni and cheese and soups and things, they'll make a little bit more of a mess. And if we have leftover liquid, like when I make macaroni and cheese, I just soak it up with APR sheets and throw it away. But we we do have a porta potty we can put them in, pour just the liquid in here in the van in case it's more liquid than you can soak up easily. Okay, I'm trying to get the last little bit here so it'd be nice and spiffy. Almost spiffy. Also, when Dan does this, he doesn't put his hand in like this. He takes APR and uses a spoon. So if you think, oh, Yuki, I don't want to put my hand down inside, you can follow Dan's method and use a spoon to push around the tissue. So there we are. This is, oh, one more thing, the frying pan. Of course, the frying pan is a whole lot easier. We have used oil to make the pancakes, so that helps get the food out. And it's all set, cooling down for next time. Talk to you later.